on the high side. And here comes Marco. Oh, oh look out! Airborne! Frankini's upside down! Dixon is involved. The wheels touched. Weldon is involved. Airborne up here got up into the pit. We got him coming down. And take a look at this and watch the wheels. Now the left rear of the car on top, the 27 car, and then the car on the right front wheel of Dan Weldon. It looked like Dan was just trying to move up towards the right just a little bit, and his right front wheel and his target machine got the Canadian club machine up in the air. Well, Ryan and Ray able to go longer than everyone else, but he said on the radio, this better pay off with us staying out longer than everyone else. They talked about a wing adjustment, they vetoed that wing adjustment, and a crash on the track. Huge crash on the front straightaway. Looks like Connor Daly and I believe Joseph Newgarden. Big hit coming into the tri-ovals. All right, let's go back and take a look. Up at the See, top of your uh, screen, Connor Daly loose. Connor got loose. Oh. Yeah, Connor just got loose, corrected, and went up into the track into Joseph. And now Joseph's upside down, and the front spins around, and Connor's car pushing it right into the wall into the safer barrier. It's a good thing that was safer barrier and not concrete. We got a yellow oh, trouble. Oh, oh, big upside down. Wow. Yellow flag will come out on that one, but nine to go. The yellow the wheel looks Guerrero. like Guerrero. Let's hope he's okay. Safety trucks are rolling. There's a lot of parts and pieces that aren't connected to each other. Stewart right goes by on the back stretch. Here comes the ambulance. Well, that was Greco. Well, he slowed dramatically, slowed and Roberta didn't quite catch it quick enough, and uh, then he caught some other stuff. Yeah, and that road just starts flipping it. You know, Nellis Air Force Base, uh, home of the uh, demonstration team, the Air Force Thunderbirds, right across the street. <laughs> well, they probably said, go ahead, just go ahead and apply power and get her out of here. Yeah, that might have showed straight up. That might have showed up on the radar. And the Himmelgarn Johnson machine now lined that gets a challenge from oh. contact. Oh, down the back stretch, Lion Dyke goes over. Very, very fun on top tater, but fortunately it didn't look like any. Uh, I think they're both going to be all right actually, just as long as it stays like Ari got upside down there, but didn't hit the contact of the wall. Boy, you're always scared when you have head, but from then car, I think they're both going to be okay. But boy, that was a very scary ride right there. Let's see what happened here a moment ago. Coming down the back stretch, 180 miles an hour. Looked like Ari just didn't realize uh, didn't realize Mark was there and, and turned up, actually turned to the right, and there was Mark on the outside of him, and uh, just nowhere right there. He took that little turn. And... Boy, those were two very fortunate guys right there. I think Rice surprised him, Paul. Now both of them, though, kept it under control. Oh, oh and this time, no. That's Rice upside down on the back stretch. He flipped up, got the car sideways. It got nosed higher in the air. Hey, buddy, can you hear us there? Here's what happened. Just at the beginning of your screen, you can see that he got his left rear touched by the right front of Darren Manning. As soon as the two tires touch, Paul, the rubber, then it just connects quickly and sends the car into the air. See, Buddy was just starting on his way down off of the turn, probably did not know that Darren was there. That's where you've got to be. You've got those fresh tires, but not in the middle of the track. You've got to dive down low. You've seen what Briscoe could have done. This is it. One lap. Oh, there goes Ryan Hunter, Ray, and Ryan Briscoe. And Briscoe flies. Whoa. Briscoe flips and flies. Watch this. Just a gap that closed again. It's Karam coming down. Hunter Ray in the middle. And just, Ryan Briscoe, just the innocent bystander there down on the inside. And cool. that nose just dove in like a dart into the grass and flip Briscoe and there goes the nine underneath Hinchcliffe so Scott Dixon he wasn't kidding around he says let's go back to racing probably made some change in that pit stop we had trouble the 82 a Tony Kanaan the 22 a Thomas Schecker a big contact and Tony is on his way okay Tony yeah Here's a replay. Oh, Tony on the low side, and then what's ended up happening with Marco, he ends up just getting squeezed from Thomas Schechter, the 22 machine on the right-hand side. 
And so he ends up then getting into Tony, which then starts all this off. And that's why you saw the right front suspension damage on the 26 Apple machine of Marco Andretti. And there's no safer barrier on that inside portion of the wall, but thank goodness those tires were there. It's going to be close as we look at the battle with uh, Catherine Lag Royal Service. Oh my goodness! Oh my me. God! Massive accident! Oh my God! That is the motor. A car, a tub landed upside that down. That is the kink. I uh, don't know who that is. Well, of course, it yellow. Might be we don't know who that is right now, but okay? uh, that is the fastest part of the track down at uh, the, the exit of the kink there, turn 11. That is a very, very scary place indeed. This is the kink. Now she's back, she's already around, and she hits the wall with phenomenal force. The car flies up in the air, catches the fence a bit. The motor breaks off as she comes back down, and the tub continues to go. As the, as the gearbox and the rear tires up in the air there, as the tub barrel rolls down the, uh, the outside of the track there. There's your leader, Thomas Schechter, followed by Sam Horn as part of the Penske team. Dan Weldon, the current points leader. Tony Kanaan sits in fourth. And Dario Franchitti, we've got a big yellow coming into turn four. All kinds of debris, and it's the 33, the back end. That is Ryan Briscoe. Well, here it is again. Here's how they come into three, Scotty. Actually, you can see on the very underside, what a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice getting airborne coming out of turn two when they touched wheels. And here's the situation. Briscoe going underneath. Oh Barron trying to word. come down on the racetrack. They both are going for the same piece of real estate. He's letting everybody go by. He's doing everything he can to save you. And Weldon, can he close? It's 3.6 seconds as they head through one. Oh, we've got a crash. Oh, a wicked crash involving two cars at least. He's won it. He's going to win it. Frankiti has won it. Ryan Hunter Ray involved in this. And that car is certainly destroyed, but you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. Tony Kanaan, it'll be his fourth win this year, the first to four. And is 11. Nice job, DK. Nice job. Good job, guys. Nice job. Hey, Brooks. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Take a look, Ellen. We have a crash at the first turn after they cross the finish line. It is Koski Matsura and Dario, Dario Franchitti. He was trying to get underneath. Oh, my gosh. He goes up and over again? Oh, can you count this as lucky or what in the world? That that looked like one of those hydroplane blowovers. My goodness. All right, here we go. We're going to go on board. Now, you're not riding aboard a jet fighter right now when you start to see the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just checks up and, and touches the tire up and over. Reminds me of a ride in a fighter plane. Trouble, oh my goodness, what a huge crash. Scott Dixon is in it. As we watch the cars go through here, guys, the car on the very top, okay, which is Jay Howard. We're gonna roll this through now. Well, look at Jay, he's already way off the line. He's off the dark patch of the racetrack, which we call the racing line. He's up in the gray, he's lost control of the car. He's hoping he's not gonna hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes off the wall, just misses the 10 of Tony Kanaan. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is right there, up and over the front of the car. Mm. Car hits on the top of the wall. The safety cell on these cars, guys, I can't tell you how strong they are.